Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome, welcome. I'm excited to see you all today. So today is reading journal day. Yes, I have it right here. I always love filling out my reading journal. It's very fun. And today we're gonna do that. I'm gonna share with you the book that I finished in March. Yeah, I finished one book, but you know what? Boy, was she a great one. Oh, I'm excited about this. So we're gonna fill out the reading journal and get all that going. Today's video is in collaboration with my great friend Tracy over at Midwest Craft Chat. She's been doing some fun things over there with her reading journal. She's in fact setting up, she has a project going on. She's setting up a new reading journal, I believe for next year, but um, I'm excited to see what she's going to do. I will put links down below for you so you can check out her reading journal video today. And in the meantime, let's flip this camera down and talk about all the bookish things. So I have all the things here gathered to put my monthly recap for my reading journal together. And I have my Pride and Prejudice book. Look at her. I just love this edition. It's so beautiful. It's hardbound and it was a really fun read. Not only did I love the story, but it was a joy to read out of this edition here. Look at how ornate that is. Isn't that beautiful? loved it. So I did say I only finished one book this month because I was reading another book, but I was really listening reading. So it was uh, an audio book and it's My Name is Barbara and it's Barbara Streisand's memoir. I love listening to the memoirs. I love listening to them narrating their own stories. So I do like to get those in audio. So I'm really enjoying Barbara Streisand's memoir, but I'm probably gonna finish it probably next month because I take it in pieces. So what I have here for today are all my pens. I have my book covers up here. Um, and I have my March monthly page kit. We're only gonna be using this page for March, so I'm gonna set this page aside, but we're using this to decorate our monthly page for the recap, as well as I have my rating stars and some book icons going on here. These are all on my Etsy shop at Oh Hello Robin. I will link that down below for you in case you're interested in checking it out. So what I wanna do is start with the review section so that we can talk about the book a little bit then we'll fill out the trackers then we'll fill out and create our monthly recaps so here we have this section here let's just move everything aside there we go so here we have this section here this is where i kind of i write down each of the books that i've read um, the title, the author, the main characters, three main things about the book, and then some stats about the book. So we are right here, and I'm ready to get started. So we have this blank page here, which we can go ahead and I can show you how I fill this out. I use thin, skinny, 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 washi, which is really fun, and I like to match it to my book cover. So I have my Pride and Prejudice book. Yeah, that matches really nicely. So we're gonna use this. And I like to do my pages with two books on each page so that I can have more room to write what I want and put all the things and put a larger book cover because I really find that a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line this right up at the top here. And this dot grid paper is nice because it it gives you a space to put all the washi and it makes it easy. Okay, so grab my trusty llama card here and I'm just gonna tear it off right on the edges here. Perfection. And I'm gonna put one right here. And this one I just go part way to the edge because I'm going to put my book cover right there. Just like so. And then I put this last piece right down here at the bottom. So I kind of just halved my sheet up so that I can fit the two sections, just like so. So my next, my next book I read will go down here. I have one more line that I make and that's right here. So let's use, so I'll show you. So this line here is this line right there because that's where I write the main characters. I'm gonna use this ruler and I'll just use my regular pen because I don't like it to be too thick of a line. And I'm using the ruler just so I can draw it somewhat straight, <laughs> you know, somewhat. But I am following the dots. So we're just gonna go like so. Okay. 
And the next thing I put in are numbers because I like to put three things. So here we have, let's see, we have number one. Let's go in a little bit though. So see, I go in a little bit. So if my line is here, I go in a whole one. So if my line is here, I go in a whole one. So I'm, I'm going kind of, I indent it just a touch. So we'll go one and then I'm gonna skip one, two, three, I go in the next one. So one, two, three, and then put two here. One, two, three, and then put three here. Okay. So we are set up here and ready to roll. For here, I use a two and a half inch book cover. So I like to pull these off of um, you can get them off of uh, Goodreads, you can get them off of Amazon, you can do a Google search just to look for the book covers, like the books that you have. And I pull them I pull them off and I size them by height. So this is two and a half inches, this is two inches, and this is one and a half inch. I allow the width to be whatever the width of the book ends up being once I size it. I print these on sticker paper because that's what I have, but you can print these on anything. And it's really fun to do and it's a fun thing to add to your reading journal. So let's get this backer off, just like so. And I'm gonna turn this over a little bit so that I can line up somewhat close to this top line, but not too close, right? And get it a little bit, well, somewhat straight. How's that? Yes, that looks really cute. I'm gonna add some stars down here for my star rating. So, well, let's just finish this row off. How's that? So I'm gonna put my star rating next. And I also like to put the format that I read the book in and here I have book icons, ebook, and audiobook, and I read this in a book format, which you saw. So I'm gonna put this right down here at the bottom. And that's basically how I set up each section for my reviews. Okay, so to start with, let's write the title, and I'm using my Papermate flare pen. Pride and Prejudice, and I'll use this next pen to write the author's name. Which is, of course, by Jane Austen. So much fun, so much fun. This next row here, I like to put in who my main characters are, my main character or characters, and this one, well, we know who this is, right? Of course, it's Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy, whose first name is Fitzwilliam, but we really talk, call him Mr. Darcy in here, whom we all love, don't we? Yes, in fact, we love him so much, I'm gonna give him a heart. Yes, we love Mr. Darcy. And next, I wanna write three things about the book that'll help me remember when I'm leafing through uh, what it is about the book that I loved. And uh, let me think about what these will be and uh, we'll write them out. Okay, so here are the three things that I wrote about Pride and Prejudice that I want to remember. So we have Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy, and it's Regency era England, which is a time period I love. I wrote Bridgerton vibes here because it, it, it is very much Bridgerton vibes. So this is the early 1800s, and Pride and Prejudice was written in 1813. Uh, Bridgerton takes place during that same time period as well, although I would consider Bridgerton a modern classic and Pride and Prejudice, you know, a classic classic, if that makes sense. So if you love Bridgerton, you will love Pride and Prejudice. If you love Pride and Prejudice, you will love Bridgerton. At least I do, and it makes perfect sense. I love that entire time period and the whole society thing that they have going on where you have of uh, the girls going to the balls and getting married to find their their mate and securing money for the families and the husbands and the wives and and that whole thing it's just very interesting and a lot of them get married because of situations and we're b combining families together but then some of them get married because of love and those are the ones that we love to see which is this case right here because it brings us to number two enemies to lovers romance 
and three proposals. Well, there were more than three proposals in Pride and Prejudice, but three proposals specifically for Elizabeth Bennet, and two of them were from Mr. Darcy, because I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm not going to do any spoilers, but she was proposed to three times, twice by Mr. Darcy. Did she accept one of them? Well, I think maybe that happened. Otherwise, it wouldn't be enemies to lovers, right? <laughs> but it's really fun. And this whole enemies to lover idea is where we get the pride and the prejudice part because um, Mr. Darcy is a very proud man and Elizabeth Bennet is very opinionated. And she gets prejudiced to him by things she overhears or the way she sees him. But things aren't always as they seem. And Mr. Darcy is a lot more empathetic and a gentleman than maybe what he seems is just his stature and his position in society. And in the beginning, he does. He comes off as a bit of a snob, but it all works out in the end. Number three, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett are awesome. So this is the mom and the dad of the Bennett family. So Elizabeth has four other sisters. So they have five daughters and we have the mom and the father and they, I love them so much, especially Mr. Bennett. So Mrs. Bennett does everything she can to ensure her daughters are married into the way they need to be married. And Mr. Bennett is kind of along for the ride with all of these women in the house, which is the part I love so much, but he is very intent on making sure, especially Lizzie, Elizabeth, is uh, with whom she loves. And uh, I just, I love that. I love that so much. So Pride and Prejudice, I'm so happy I finally read it. Um, and it was really, really great. I am going to list this. So right here, I usually write what the book, uh, what type of book it is. So it's, it is a historical fiction. It is a romance, but it's also a classic. So I'm just going to write classic because for me, uh, I think that's the main goal for that one. And right above it, I write how many pages it is. Let's just pull this out and let's check it out and see. See, that makes it easy. Um, 519. Okay. We got 519 right there perfection. So it depends on what uh, version you get, I guess, how many pages you're going for. And how many stars do you think we rated this? So I'm using a golden yellow mild liner to fill my star rating out. And uh, what do you think I gave it? Do you know? Do you know? Well, I gave it five. I'll just tell you because I loved it. And I'm so happy I read it. And even though it was a classic and an older classic written in the 1800s, I got through it and the story itself is timeless. That's what makes it a classic. Okay, let's grab this journal and place this in. Excellent. Let's move our stuff around and get to the tracker section. Okay, so we're in the tracker section here and I kind of neaten my area up because it was getting, it was, it was too much. <laughs> So let's go to the first page, which is the Goodreads goal. And this is book number seven. I read it as a book. So I'm going to use this blue mild liner to color in my book. Now this year for my Goodreads goal, I, I gold myself at 24 because I just thought that was reasonable for me for this time, but we'll see what happens. I'm not really married to the goal. Here's my monthly stats page. We are in March. And I'll use my Papermate Flare here. We know I read one book. And how many pages was that again? See, I already forgot. This is why we have all these different sections, right? 519. So I, 519. Now, I know that I have said that I did start reading, or I am reading another book, but I'll wait and put those pages into April or when I finish it. So sometimes that happens. You have a book that overlaps in the month and I just don't worry about it. it. I wait until I finish the book and then I write it all in. So that's how I go. So here's my bookshelves, books read, super cute. And these are the one and a half inch book covers. And I just kind of plop them on there because I like how it looks. So let's kind of fit this right about here. See? That looks fabulous, doesn't it? Loving it, it's just fun. Oh, my reading genres. So this book is a romance. It's also historical fiction, but I'm gonna put it in my classic section because, you know, 
It's a classic. There we go, perfect, Pride and Prejudice. Okay, that's coming along. I need to work on this side. I've got, all my books are on this side. <laughs> I need some magical realism, nonfiction, thriller, and mysteries and fantasies happening. Okay, let's work on that. Um, oh, this is my, you seriously need to read these books, my top five TBR books. And look, we get to fill it. Pride and Prejudice is one of them, so let's fill this out. Five stars, perfect. And so I still have left The Wishing Game to read and Kristen Hanna's The Nightingale. Yes, she is my favorite. I can't wait to read that. Perfect. And that is that for that section. So let's flip to the front section, which is our monthly recap, which we're going to put this page together. It'll be so much fun. Let's take it out. Move this aside. And this is where we're going to bring this in. So I know when I initially set this up, I used these monthly script stickers. And I'm just going to pull this off because I'm going to use this instead to fill this out. So we're just going to pull this off here and put it right across the top. This makes it so easy and I just, I really am enjoying how this looks with all of these colors. It's really fun. Here's a bottom strip. So this is part of my monthly moments kit. I just did a my monthly moments for March. I'll link it down below if you missed it. But I use this kit to build a page in my planner. But again, I also like to use it for this. And then for here, I'm gonna use these two deco boxes to put right down here to put some stats. So I'm just eyeballing where the center is, right about here. Does that look about right? Sure, there. Okay, and then we can get this page rolling. Okay, well, let's put our book cover. So I'm gonna put the larger two and a half inch cover on here. I have two different sizes that I use for this page. I use this two and a half inch for my favorite book and then I have a two inch one printed if it were a book that I read for the month but not necessarily my favorite, I would have put that here. But we read one book and it was my favorite. So <laughs> I'm giving it this, I'm giving it this and we're gonna just kind of place it kind of in the center here, just like so, yes. And let's fill this out. So if there were more books than one, this would reflect that. And this would be all the pages add together. But we have one and we have 518 pages, which we'll, we'll take that. Okay, next, I like to put down one of my favorite quotes from the book. And I really love the first line of this book, which is not that. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. I love that line because that really sets up what, what is happening. It's that whole Regency era vibe. But there's another quote that is more attuned to their love story. And you have to wait till chapter 60 before you see this. I don't think this is a spoiler. I think we know it's a love story, right? And I'm going to write this one in. So I'm going to hold this kind of hair. <laughs> We're gonna see how this works. And uh, well, let's just go for it. Okay, so here we have it. And I put a little in the beginning to kind of set the stage. So Elizabeth is asking Mr. Darcy, when did he fall in love with her? How did it happen? How could you begin? What could set you off in the first place? That's Elizabeth. And this is Mr. Darcy's reply. I cannot fix on the hour or the spot or the look or the words which laid the foundation. It is too long ago. I was in the middle before I knew I had begun. So, oh my gosh, I love that so much. Oh my okay. Love, love, love that so much. And that's what it's like. He didn't know when it happened. It just happened. And he was well into it before 
Well, he knew what, what had hit him. So there we have that. So look at my bookish year. This is my Dutch door situation. I really like this. So here's January, February. We have March. And if you want a sneak peek at what April will look like, well, here we have it. Yes, that will be fun. And that will go right here. <laughs> so that is a lot of fun. So this is my reading journal for March. I know I finished one book, but again, my name is Barbara is in the docket. And I have also started another book because I was totally into this entire Regency vibes that I went to my favorite Bridgerton and I'm reading The Duke and I. I'm not very far. I'm really just this far. And this is like a fun little paperback, which I haven't had in a while. One of these little paperbacks. Uh, this is Daphne's story. And I am obsessed with the Bridgerton series on TV, seasons one. Season two, I, is my favorite. I That's Anthony's story. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with that season. It is the most romantic love story ever. It's just the yearning. This one is really fun too. So I'm I'm reading this because I really uh, loved this whole Regency thing. And, I, and since I'm watching the show, I wanted to see how the book was. And so far, I'm enjoying it. So that's what I have going on so far, the end of this month and starting next month. And I'm really excited about that. I'm also excited to see what Tracy's doing over at her channel at Midwest Craft Chat. Don't forget to go check out her video today. Um, I don't know what she'll be doing. Is she going to tell us about books that she read in March? Is she going to share some of her reading journal uh, stylings with us? I don't know, but I'm excited to go check it out. I will link her channel down below as well as her video so that you can check it out too. Let me know down below. What is one of the books that you read in March that you love? And a second question, have you read Pride and Prejudice or any other classics? Let me know about that too, because I would love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.